Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course that industrial biotechnology. Now, uh, in the, in the less, uh, last lecture, I, I tried to cover spirulina. One thing I, I forgot to mention that, uh, uh, that you know, that uh, we, 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 we have one book that is uh, Algal Biorefinery and Integrated Approach. So, why I suggest that if you want the information about the algal uh, that, uh, production processes, you can get the digital information in this book. Now, uh, let me come back to the uh, this lecture that uh, we are, uh, we know that uh, different enzymes is very much used in the day to day life and one of the very important enzyme is alpha amylase, which has a lot of applications not in the, in the different uh, industry and also uh, it is used as a for in the medicine, and not only used uh, for in some food making industry, but also used in the medicine for medicinal purpose. Now, uh, this alpha amylase, we have uh, this among the industrial important uh, enzymes like protease. Uh, that amylase are considered the most prominent enzymes since they are widely utilized in the brewing detergent and food industry because we know that uh, in the detergent industry i told you that uh, sometimes we have some blood clot in the in the in the in our uh, uh, cloth and this is uh, the blood is kind of protein molecule so if we use some kind of protease enzyme that uh, will clean this uh, clot and sometimes we have uh, some kind of strain due to some uh, fat type of material we use some kind of lipase that also do the, uh, it can remove the uh, strain and sometimes the starchy material also has some kind of uh, color uh, co the contribution to our cloth that also removed by amylase. So this is exactly what is mentioned here that used in the detergent food industry is largely used. Uh, I think we are, we, will, we are going to talk about the high fructose corn syrup production that there I shall tell you more and brewing industry already we have seen how brewing industry because the first steps in the brewing industry is the malting process and through the malting process actually we, we develop a lot of uh, hydrolytic enzymes like alpha amylase and protease these enzymes are produced during the, uh, uh, the germination process. After the World War II, the enzyme application increases due to the advances in industrial biotechnology and biochemical engineering and amylase is an enzyme that catalyzes and hydrolyzes the starch into sugar and amylase is present in the saliva of human because we know our saliva contains the uh, kind of amylase enzyme, some other mammals you know, where it begins the chemical, chemical process of digestion. So we have three different amylase type of amylases. We have alpha amylase, beta amylase and gamma amylase. We will be concentrating on mostly on alpha amylase today and uh, if you look at alpha amylase, Alpha amylase is clipped uh, alpha 1 fold linkage. We know the starchy molecule is, uh, is a polymer of glucose and they bind with each other by alpha 1 fold linkages. And this is alpha amylase clip the alpha 1 fold glycosid cytic bond present in the inner part of the amylose am amylopectin chain of the starch. Starch has two type of chain. One is called amylose. Amylose means the uh, starch molecules. They, they will they will, they will, they they form this is the chain this is the chain molecules and in this is amylose and this is a glucose molecule this is the polymer of glucose now in case of amylopectin we have the branch branching we have we have we have we can have some branching here
So we have this is called amylopectin. So this bond is alpha 1 4 linkage and this bond is alpha 1 6 linkage. So they have different type of linkage that we have and alpha amylase uh, calcium is very much required for the activity of the enzyme. We observed that thermostability of the alpha amylase enzyme increases to a great extent in presence of calcium ion. So alpha amylase can be used for two purposes when sacrificing alpha amylase. One is liquefying alpha amylase. Uh, they, they sacrificing alpha amylase, they hydrolyze 50 to 60 percent of glycosidic linkage of starch. Liquefying alpha amylase cleave about 30 to 40 percent of glycosidic linkage of the starch. This is the two type of alpha amylase, and the, this is they called endo uh, endo uh, endo amylase. Endo amylase means that this can randomly attack the starch molecule at any position. You see that the any position here, here, here at the end. So in process, it produces oligosaccharide. Oligosaccharide means it is maybe dimer, trimer, tetramer, different uh, uh, this uh, hexose uh, molecules. They in combination they produce the different type of oligosaccharide that uh, you get that as a product uh, due to the action of this alpha amylase. And then we have other type of amylase, the beta amylase. The, the beta amylase are they walk alpha 1 for uh, the glycosidic bond, but only on the non hydrogen, non reducing end of the polysaccharides and making it slow and clip two glucose up at a time, resulting a single maltose molecule. So I can show you this. It is the beta amylase largely available in bacteria and fungi and uh, pH is about 4 to 5. Now, if you look at here that this is the non-reducing end and here the this uh, this uh, beta amylase can also, so the two glucose unit can comes out here also two glucose units can. We know that this the two glucose unit when they bind with alpha 1 4 linkage we call is amylose. So, this is amylose is the main product that then, then gamma amylase is the clip the alpha 1 6 uh, glycoside I have already pointed out that this bond is alpha 1 6 gly glycosidic linkage and this is alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkage this is the difference that we have in claiming the in addition to 1 4 uh, linkage uh, at the non reducing end of amylose and amylopin resulting glucose. So, uh, uh, gamma amylase is more efficient in acidic environment as an optimum pH in 3. So, history of amylose uh, production is uh, like this. Uh, history amylose begin in the year uh, 1811 when the first starch degrading enzyme was discovered by Kitzhoff in wheat. Then alpha amylase was named at Kuhn in 1925 because the hydrolysis products are alpha uh, having the alpha configuration. Then amylase was first to enzyme to be discovered and isolated by uh, Payan in 1833. Then interestingly first enzyme produced industrially was an uh, amylase from fungal source in 1894 which was used pharmaceutical aid for the treatment of digestive disorder. We know uh, during uh, I told you that the amylase has lot of uh, medicinal applications when we use uh, we have a digestive problem that uh, doctor usually prescribes some kind of tonic which contain amylase and and uh, proteases that helps in our digestion system the uh, the bodin and he uh, found in this 1917 where the first used the bacillus subtilis and bacillus mesentericus for the production of alpha amylase on commercial scales using the large fermenter by submerged fermentation process. The industrial production of alpha amylase, the plant source, they, this is they play a crucial role in the plant growth regulation. Beta amylase appears prior, prior to alpha amylase to initiate the germination process. Plant sources are, are not uh, being considered. Uh, with enough sig significance as the source of this enzyme become low productivity and difficult to cultivate. The animal source we have uh, we have uh, like uh, um, uh, tylen that is uh, an alpha amylase that is 
one of the most important enzyme in the in the saliva that i told you in the saliva we have this uh, amylase enzyme when we take the food then mix with our uh, with our food and starchy material will degrade then <coughs> the alpha amylase based is produced from microbial sort both from bacteria and fungi this uh, for industrial part production it is cost effective is the consistency less production time is in the process modification and and optimization the bacterial amylases we have several we have bacillus subtilis we have bacillus thermophilus we have bacillus lichenoformis bacillus amylolichenoformis that are known to produce a good amount of alpha amyl thermostable uh, enzymes uh, isolate from thermophilic bacteria having the commercial application due to stability now bacterial enzymes they are exploited commercially due to their rapid growth leading to shorter fermentation cycle capable of secreting the protein into the extra extra cellular media and same holding now here i want to point out that all the hydrolytic enzymes produced by the microorganism they are usually the extra cellular in nature so you that is that doesn't present inside the cells so it presents in the fermentation media so you can you could be you can separate the cell mass and in the fermentation broth you will get that in the filtered you will get that uh, that uh, enzymes so you can purify it so uh, so this is uh, the enzymes produce considerable quantity mostly from aspergillus species and the penicillium species then uh, like aspergillus oryza aspergillus niger and then uh, this uh, ph tolerance is uh, less than 3 that is their filamentous fungi is suitable for uh, microbial in solid state fermentation process especially because their morphology allow them to colonize and penetrate the solid surface now this gives you a table that indicates that uh, Uh, that uh, the what is the mode of fermentation for different type of microorganisms and what is the optimum ph required for this fermentation process what is the temperature required and what is the uh, molecular weight of uh, enzyme that we produce by this and what are the different inhib inhibitors is is present uh, this, this bacterial alpha amylase that produce from this has different characteristics now factor influencing the uh, production of alpha amylase is the selection of microorganism that plays a very important role and i told you the industrial strength should higher productivity the temperature of the media plays very important role ph of the media plays very important role composition of the media carbon nitrogen source incubation period inoculum age and hesitation and aeration these are the couple of things that is plays very important role for alpha amylase production now if you look at the selection for the industrial enzyme criteria is that that specificity and uh, reaction rate and ph temperature optima and stability the stability of the enzyme plays very important role as per industry concern and stability of the enzyme is usually determined from the half life of the enzyme so usually we prescribe the half life of the enzyme should be as high as possible effect of inhibitor how inhibitor whether it is easily that affect that activity of the enzyme that is also very uh, important affinity to substrate now if you look at the process flow diagram for this uh, enzyme production is here you have um, you have different microbial strain we have submerged i, I already explained you the submerged fermentation and solid state fermentation process in the submerged fermentation mm, microorganism organism grow throughout the liquid and solid state fermentation that uh, microorganism also grow throughout the solid media that uh, this is usually in the liquid media then this is the cell separation you take place cell free this is and this is the biomass it can be used as a compost i saw i told you that this alpha amylase is the extracellular product it comes out of the cells so it present in the supernatant you can you can make it concentrate and then you you stabilize by adding uh, certain ingredients in it uh, substrate analog or some other material and then uh, this product has a, usually in the market we do the market similarly we do it from this solid state fermentation process 
the industrial uh, industrial production of alpha amylase by bacteria it is produced either solid state or by submerged fermentation process as i mentioned before and due to rapid growth of bacillus species it is more predominant in the production of amylase in the industrial uh, purpose uh, then most commonly used commercial enzyme is bacillus subtilis and bacillus lichenoformis and bacillus amylolicu Patients. This is the mostly used by the industry. These strains are improved by mutation to yield the enzyme about 250 times greater than the wild strain. Um, the different techniques such as the cell immobilization in the matrix, such as alginate, uh, polyacrylamide, agar, and kappa carrageenan, are, uh, are being used for continuous and rapid batch fermentation of amylase. So, this is for the degradation of starch, we use that. Media use mostly the complex uh, that uh, wheat bran and rice bran, this is the gram hogs, the mustard oil, the oil seed cake, which is known as the agricultural waste or agricultural waste is used. Most of the strain undergo the catabolite repression with the glucose. The glucose is the undesirable product in this because glucose gives some inhibition effect. The yeast extract has been proven to be the most uh, preferred organic nitrogen source for alpha amylase production as reported by many studies. Then yeast extracts not only serve for the nitrogen source but also rich source of vitamin and other growth factors. The thiamine, cysteine and uh, pyridoxin are the amino acids most, found mostly suitable for alpha amylase uh, production. The media, we have phosphate concentration of the media has a regulatory effect on enzyme production by beta uh, liqu amyloliquefacins. A high phosphate concentration promotes the maltose uptake and the microbial growth, while a high maltose uptake rate suppresses the enzyme biosynthesis due to the catabolite repression effect. Thus, the phosphate concentration should be optimized in the cult cult cultivation broth. The production by submerged state uh, method required the medium optimization including 5 percent starch, um, ammonium nitrate, uh, sodium, sodium citrate, magnesium sulfate, H2O support and, uh, and calcium, uh, calcium hydroxide to H2O and then then yeast extract, etc. Then inoculum preparation. Inoculum is prepared in the sake flux. Then inoculum is grown in the small fermenter. Then finally in the production fermenter. The optimum pH of the production is the six, six to eight, and temperature maximum enzyme production occurs at relatively lower temperature, 27 to 30 degrees centigrade. But it depends on the bacterial strain used. The thermophilic bacteria such as the Thermo, thermonospora species produces maximum enzyme when the temperature is 53 degrees centigrade. Aeration is done in the range of 0.8 to 1 ppm BBM. The duration of this fermentation is about 48 hours because this is the bacterial fermentation. This is usually takes less time. The if you go for the fungal fermentation process, it will take little longer time. The enzyme uh, the fermentation rate is slow during the exponential growth phase of the uh, of the growth phase, and just before the rate growth decreases, the spore formation begins. Amin amylase production increases. So here you can visualize from here that uh, enzyme. This is the enzyme production. This is the cell mass uh, concentration. That is the that is cell mass that is uh, growing like this. So, by so when when the after sometimes when when spore that cell mass grows is maximum and sporulation start, then enzyme production increases. The production of fungal amylase, similarly for the particularly aspergillus varieza, is used mostly. It is produced by using the solid state fermentation process. The wheat chip brain is uh, moisture and stem one to two hours to extract the soluble starch. The substrate contains 8 percent starch and the, and the sodium nitrate and uh, magnesium sulfate KCA, KCL 
and so various sulfate malt extracts are added to optimize the media. Inoculum fungal spores are uh, the fungal, I told you that fungal spores is used in the solid media to be used as the inoculum. That production of fungal enzyme temperature is 28 to 30 degrees centigrade. The duration time is 3 to 5 days. I, I told you in the case of bacterial fermentation, it is 2 days. So, it, is, it takes quite long time, 3 to 5 days. Fungal molds grow specific, specially designed tray equipped with perforated covers and uh, high rate of aeration provided the increase the growth because this is the aerobic fermentation process. Now, product recovery is like this. The fermentation broth is separated into liquid and solid part by means of filtration and centrifugation. This is the fermentation broth. We, we give some kind of, we add some kind of two percent diatomaceous earth. This is kind of filter aid, then vacuum filtration. Then uh, um, uh, we, uh, we gave the put the ethanol and precipitation of enzyme take place with the filtration supernatant. Uh, we discard the precipitation with vacuum dry for 8 hours grinding in powder packaging moisture proof container we get the amylase and this is used for the waste treatment processes. So, this is the for fungal amylase filtration alone is sufficient to separate the solid from the liquid while the bacterial amylase filtration and centrifugation are carried out. This is the, the you, you, can, you can see the product that has been marketed in the different forms. The marketed of amylase that either in the liquid concentrate or powder liquid concentrate is uh, preferred in the, mm, in, the, in the industry due to the uh, convenience of a handling because when you mix with this uh, liquid can mix thoroughly, but uh, when you use solid then you have to make in, in suspension. So, that is very important. It is it also form an important part of digestive enzyme. So, you can see this is the, this is a powder form and this is a liquid form. This is again powder form that has been marketed. So, um, the application of uh, alpha amylase is tremendous. The sugar and glucose industry is largely used. Then we have used the alcohol industry. I told you that IFB agro industry which is located close to uh, Kharagpur that uh, they produce alcohol from, uh, from broken rice which is uh, used as a, a starchy, uh, starch source. And the starch is the grain, potato, etc is used as raw material uh, to help the manufacture of ethanol is the first converted in the fermentable sugar. In the textile industry to hydrolyze and soluble starch for, for increasing the steepness of the uh, finished product. So, this is required and fabrics, uh, fabric uh, size with the starch amylase is used for desizing purpose. So, application of uh, there are, uh, the bread and chapati industry is largely used to make it uh, soft because you know that uh, more than 70 percent bread USA, USA, Russia and European country contains alpha amylase so that we can easily digest it and alpha amylase degrade the damaged starch of the wheat, uh, wheat flour into the small dextrins which allows the yeast to work continuously during the dough um, fermentation and proving and uh, early stage of baking. The chocolate industry, the amylase is treated with coca slurry to produce the chocolate syrup. Treatment of starch processing waste water, this anal an analysis of medicinal and clinical chemistry it is largely used. The increasing of stability of alpha amylase plays very important role. The production of stable uh, amylase is a high temperature. I told you calcium plays very important iron, uh, important effect on that. That um, that acidic pH and calcium independence are successfully uh, uh, achieved by using the following approach: that uh, production of the uh, extremophiles organism. Because if you use the extremophile, which can which can grow at a very high temperature and is expected this enzyme, the enzyme produced by this organism, they are quite, quite stable at high temperature from reco by using the recombinant enzyme, protein engineering, amino acid mutagenesis and chemical stabil stabilization method. I, I told you by using some kind of substrate analog or it is possible to increase the stability of the enzyme and metal ion stabilization methods 
and immobilization method largely used for the for the stability of the enzyme. So, in this uh, lecture, I try to discuss its uh, special topic that is the alpha amylase production um, and which is largely used uh, both in the food industry as well as in the pharmaceutical industry. Thank you very much.